I have a cool announcement to make, and it is that I helped design specced Picatinny rail form cutters with Speed Tiger that are actually affordable. A quick note, what is my relationship with Speed Tiger? They do sponsor the CNC work that I do on this channel. However, I helped design this because they asked me what would I like in their catalog that doesn't exist, and this was a passion project of mine. I do not receive a single dollar from this, whether they sell one or a million of them. So let's talk about them. A week from when this video goes out, I will actually have a full instructional on how to use these from a CNC perspective, as well as how to set them up and program cam with them in Fusion 360. When that releases, I'll link the video up here and in the description. And then lastly, before we get into a bunch of details, why should you care about any of this? Because these are going to go out at under $100, the coded version, no less. Try and look what Picatinny form rail cutters and accessory cutters go for from known brands, and you'll very quickly understand why that is a cool thing. Even if you buy them from complete unknown brands that you have no idea whether they are actually to spec or will last or anything like that, this is still a dang good deal. That's why. So when I say I helped design a Picatinny rail cutter, you might be saying to yourself, well, the Picatinny spec is sort of, you know, finalized. It's, it's a spec. True. But there's a bunch of stuff that we can play with on a cutter besides just the very specific shape that it cuts. For example, we spec this out to use a half inch shank. That's about as low a diameter as you can get while still being able to cut a Picatinny shape. And the reason we did that is that allows this cutter to be held by as small as an ER20 collet. If we'd gone up to the 5 8 of an inch shank that you see on a lot of cutters, that means you're gonna have to have a machine that's capable of an ER25 collet or up. So this makes this accessible to more people with smaller machines. And being a hobbyist myself, that was important to me. Secondly, for fellow hobbyists that are unlikely to ever wear a bit like this out from heavy use, uh, there's actually a uncoated version of these coming out as well. So you can even save more money if the coating is not something uh, that's important to you and it's just going to be something that you use every now and then, like in a hobby shop environment. For the pros, there is a TAC, which stands for Tetrahedral Amorphous Carbon. It's a type of DLC, diamond-like uh, coating. It is extremely hard. Not only is it beautiful, I mean, that color, that purple dark color is pretty cool, but what TAC is known for is not only having extremely low friction, but increased hardness and therefore longevity of the cutter that beats out almost every other type of commercially available DLC and PVD coating. So if you are someone that is going to be heavily utilizing these bits, then you can get it with the TAC coating so that you get the maximum lifespan out of it possible. And again, these are going out under $100 even with the coating. So yes, they are more expensive than the uncoated, but they still fit into that budget range. Third, the depth of cut below the Picatinny section, so this flat section at the bottom, was optimized for most of the use cases of a Picatinny cutter that you're going to interact with. It was kept short enough so that it does not stop you from doing more niche use cases, but long enough that it is gonna cut in one single run, one single tool path, the flat section for most of your use cases. Fourthly, this flute geometry on both style cutters, which we'll talk about in a second, has been optimized for aluminum. So again, for our hobbyists, this covers almost every single use case that you're gonna be doing Picatinny rails. And then for our professionals, it is optimized for the vast majority of use cases that you will likely be using these in. So flute geometry here really matters. And lastly, we did design them together in both the male and female cutter versions. 
so that you can do obviously all of the pick rail cutting that you are interested in doing, as well as cutting the corresponding notches for any accessories, or as you'll see in the instruction video where I make one of these you can also use this to create soft jaws for work holding of Picatinny rails. These are gonna be up on Amazon extremely soon. And when they go live, I will place their link down in the description, but let's get to work.